Beyond Mars, in the still reaches, the James Webb Space Telescope captured something the human eye had never seen before. A collision of two interstellar bodies, visitors in a single flash lasting just over 90 seconds. Yuma, the mysterious visitor from 2017. A triple strike, Atlas, a fast-moving comet, was moving through our solar system at nearly 58 kilometers per second. Webb's infrared sensors flared with energy, shock, dust, and spikes of heated gas. Evidence of an impact stretched across light years of luck. What started out as a faint signal became the first glimpse in all of history of cosmic worlds coming to an end among the stars. It quietly began in the data stream of the Atlas Sky Survey on the evening of July 14, 2025. A faint moving dot slipped between stars over Hawaii's Hakala Observatory. Its motion was unusual, its orbit to wide. Within 48 hours, orbital solvers confirmed what the universe of astronomy had barely dared to hope for, an additional interstellar object. Previously written off as a transient anomaly, this object with an eccentricity of 1 point to 1 lay beyond the sun's capture, ensuring it would come but never stay. Astronomers immediately turned all their attention to it. In contrast to its predecessors, one I Oumuamua 2017 and to Iborosov to 0193 Atlas displayed an obvious coma even at 6 point for astronomical units. That initial activity startled observers. At that distance, the vast majority of comets remain dormant. Yet 3i Atlas was already releasing gas and dust, its faint glow visible against the dim light. Its speed, nearly 58 kilometers per second relative to the sun, hinted at a source far from any familiar nursery, perhaps a disrupted planetary system light years away. Its journey had probably taken millions of years through frigid interstellar space. From the Lowell Discovery Spectroscopy Telescope and Hubble, something different was soon revealed. The coma of the comet was dominated by CO rather than H Cho vapor, the opposite composition of most solar system comets. Ratios showed nearly 8.1 CO to H Cho, a number unheard of in cometary observation for decades. Such a signature implied formation in a chilly setting, perhaps beyond the CO snow line of a different star. This was alien ice, preserved from the beginning of another Earth's creation. Each spectral pixel was a whisper from another sun. By August 2025, the most advanced eye on Earth turned its mirror toward it. The James Webb Space Telescope, located at L2, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. Webb examined the infrared glow of molecules in exquisite detail, far beyond the capabilities of ground-based telescopes. Astronomers prepared a long exposure using near-spec, covering wavelengths from 0.6 to 5.3 microns. They expected subtle data, compositional traces, and thermal behavior. What happened next defied Webb's detectors and every assumption about interstellar visitors. As the information trickled down from L2 over the deep space network, analysts spotted something strange. The signals didn't stay the same, they changed, blinked, and pulsated. Initially dismissed as calibration drift or noise, a consistent pattern emerged within minutes, appearing across multiple instruments. A sudden flash, a plume of high-energy lines, a change in the geometry of the dust. Strange coincidences, or not, something had hit 3i Atlas and Webb, by sheer chance and precision, had been watching at the exact moment of impact. At 3.40 to UTC on August 6, 2025, the spectroscopic discovery was made. Webb's near-spec infrared spectrograph locked onto the comet's three-dimensional map, gathering light for nearly 3,600 seconds. Each photon was a messenger from an interstellar traveler. The preliminary data met expectations, absorption features of CO, faint traces of CO, OCS, and a small amount of HO, but then came a pulse, a spike in brightness concentrated near 4.6 microns where the vibrational lines of CO dominate. This was not typical outgassing. The line profiles widened suddenly, a 40% increase in velocity within milliseconds. 
Dr. Leela Hashimoto, a member of the European Space Agency's Comet Physics Group, was one of the first to point out the anomaly. This isn't sublimation, read her report. It's impact behavior. Within 12 hours, observatories around the world were on alert.